Scotland's environment web is important because Scotland's environment and the state of our environment is so fundamentally important. Without a good quality environment, our objectives for a cohesive society, for sustainable economic growth, are imperiled. Scotland's environment web can play a very important role in improving our understanding of the state of our environment. It's important because it brings together a wide partnership across our public sector, third sector organisations and many others, reaching into the deep wells of data and information held by individual organisations, pulling that together, synthesising it and presenting it for the public to get a much better understanding of the state of our environment and from that better understanding encouraging them to take action to improve our environment for the benefit of us all. I think there are a number of problems that Scotland faces. The three prime problems will be climate change. Over the last hundred years we've seen a real and significant change in Scotland's climate. Air quality, which although generally good, there are some localised problems in some of our towns and cities, mainly due to transport, but this has serious and real uh, health implications for some parts of our population, and quite often it's those, the poorer segments of the population, who suffer the most. And thirdly would be wildlife loss. There's a significant reduction in the species and the habitat types that we're trying to protect in Scotland, and there needs to be a lot of work done to reverse that trend. There are a lot of policies and work going on across between agencies, government agencies and between concerned individuals to try and address these problems. The issue really is that a lot of, these, um, a lot of the easy problems have been solved in past years. So we've seen real uh, reductions in pollution, both of air quality from industry and also from freshwater pollution and marine pollution. The problems we're left with now are more intractable, much more complex, and they need really big partnerships to come together to try and fix them. So a real key... Um, key driver for doing that is to bring it from engage the public and involve them in trying to fix these problems. I think people generally have got quite a good understanding of the environment but we need to do a lot more to inform them and engage them and to help people understand that the environment underpins all the work that's being done uh, and that we need help from a wide range of organisations and individuals to fix these issues.